This is a Max LED rock light and it's made by Lux. And as you can see, it's super small, puts out a ton of light. And the best part about it is it's magnetic. As in, it requires no drilling or tools of any kind to mount it to just about anywhere on your Jeep. All you need is a flat patch of steel and that's all there is to it. Now, I should note that I bought these lights for our Jeep Gladiator over three years ago. And if you haven't already seen it, Cindy and I made a complete installation video for it. Of course, you can see the entire video by clicking on the link in the description below. And in spite of what all the naysayers were telling me, none, as in zero of the rock lights have ever fallen off. And this in spite of all the rocks we played on. or all the whoops that we bombed over. Needless to say, Cindy and I love these lights and so much so that we decided to install a set on Jet, our very first Jail Wrangler. On Moby, our trusty JK Wrangler. Awesome. And they're so versatile, we even use them as bed lights on our Gladiator. And a trunk light on Moby. The possibilities of how these lights can be used are endless. And and when we heard that Lux had finally released these, you know that we just had to get a set for our 392. Just like the original Max LED, the all new Monster LED is just as small, but now it draws 10 watts of power and blasts over 1100 lumens of light. Fortunately, Lux was thrilled with a video that we made in the past. And this time around, they were all too happy to send us these new Monster lights for the purpose of testing and review. And they even included this. This is their all new Pro Installer, and it's designed to help make wiring a lot easier, especially if you have an auxiliary switch system. Unlike before, the new Pro Installer is made out of billet aluminum. It's waterproof and comes in this nice red color, but it also comes in black, in blue, in turquoise, and in gold. Obviously, you would only get one of these with your purchase, but I did ask Lux to send all of them just so that I could show all of you what was available. But wait, there's more. As you can see, Lux was also kind enough to send us their Pro Installer accessory pack, which comes with things like split loom, mounting plates, zip ties, heat shrinks, and in different sizes, butt connectors and 50 feet of lead wire. And they were even nice enough to send us their Pro Installer Toolkit, which comes with things like a porter cable heat gun, a wire ferrule crimp tool, wire strippers, and pretty much everything you would need to install their lights on your Jeep. Now, I know you're all wanting to see these monster lights get installed and to see how well they really work. And I really wanna show that to you. But 
you're gonna have to wait for our follow-up video. But please do check back because in that video, I'll show you how to connect everything to a Lux Pro installer and wire it up to a Switch Pro switch system that's mounted on our accessory bar. And for those of you with a 2024 and up Jeep Jail Wrangler or JT Gladiator, you'll be happy to know that we redesigned the mounting brackets for the accessory bar so that it can now accommodate the changes to the roll bar trim and for the new side curtain airbags. Until next time, everything I just showed you is available for sale at luxlightingsystems.com. And be sure to enter in the coupon code that I have listed in the description below for a nice holiday discount. All right, now that's getting a little bit darker, I'm gonna go ahead and do a test of the old Max light. As you can see, it's opaque, a little frosted on the lens right here, and I'm gonna stick it underneath the fender. And then I'm gonna to try to wire this up real quick. Test it out. Ready? There, that's what you see with the old Max light. Plenty Bright does a great job, does a good job of illuminating everything, but now we're gonna show the monster light, which you can see is clear. You can see the elements inside here. I'm gonna attach it inside. And you can see how much brighter it is. Certainly it's much whiter, maybe almost a bluish white as opposed to yellowish white. Looks pretty good. So this is the Max, and this is the Monster. Again, the Max, and then the Monster. Excited to get them installed.